Hey Internet, it's Color Forty, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free Game Boy Advance. All praise be to God on this great day. Today, we're going to Tidal Trouble. It's another bridge level. And for some reason, we only have Kitty Cone with us, even though we had Dixie Cone when I saved last time. Oh well. We can grab a DK barrel then go back to get the DK coin. So, if you can't tell, there's a current in the water that's pushing me to the left. As you can see, I can swim to the left much faster than swimming to the right. So now that we've got Dixie Calm, we can do the pair-up move. Nice thing about these guys, they can't actually hurt you. They can push you off a cliff, but they can't hurt you. I am trying to get better at the Kitty Cone move, because that's one move that I'm not good at. These are clownfish. They can be annoying, but they mostly keep to themselves. I'm not sure what these fins are. They're basically clobbers from the second DK Country. Alright, so we can go under the bridge over here, and... Animal Barrel, we turn into the animal that's featured on it. This one is on guard. He's, I believe, the only animal buddy who actually is in all three games. Maybe Squawks? Actually, yeah, Squawks is another one. He's technically in the first game. Even though he was on one level and only held the lantern for you. Alright, time to collect some stars. These are merchants. You can kill them as unguard when they're open up, but if they... <laughs> when they're opened up. But if they're closed and you try to kit them with Ungard, then you will end up taking damage. That is important information to know. Yay, we get a coin. Alright, I believe this is a part where you do need to, uh, Kitty's special. Blast. Well, let me check. Never mind. Glad I checked. <laughs> okay. There's a coin there. Yeah, we'll take the hit. There's a DK barrel right there anyways. The green clownfish actually move. Alright, these are basically the flutters from DK Country 2. You can use them as aerial platforms. Okay, that's the point where you need to use Kitty's special. Darn it! Kitty's special is really hard. You're so close. Oh. Never mind, you can just jump up there. That is a good spot to practice uh, Kitty's, though. Jump on all the enemies, make sure you don't get hit by the first one, and bada beam, bada boom, another bonus coin. bother, you hit Kitty Comb right next to a Kitty Comb barrel. What will we do? K-O-N-G Comb! Out of my way, fish. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, but don't leave the level just yet. You'll notice there's the crack in the ground there. And we can get a 1-up like that. Plus, I like making all the flags blue, because I like blue better than pink. Alright, next up is the snow level, Skidda's Row. This is also one of the few types of levels in the game where I actually think the Super NES version of the music is better. This one is a little weird. I like this part. This makes it sound like a nice Christmas song. I guess this music fits the level pretty well, because you've got, like, the skittas that are slipping back and forth on the Christmas roofs. And, of course, claptraps have to come back. And that is a very easy bonus barrel to find. These guys are easy to take care of, just roll. 
And if you can't tell, yes, this is ice physics. You will slip and slide around, just like the skid is. This is the part of the song where it's just kind of bad. I do love the snow background, though. Thank you, DK Coin. Never underestimate the power of rolling. Or jumping, for that matter. Oh, find the coin. Watch out for that last bug. He can catch you by much surprise if you don't jump on his head. Yeah, I love it. It's such upbeat Christmas. Never mind, I do like this song. But the Super NES music is really good for this level. It's more atmospheric. Oh no! Don't roll into clap, clap traps. They will bite you. And they hurt. Nothing invisible? Alright. Forgot how short that level is. Unfortunately, this next level's annoying. It's Murky Mill. Great music? That's about the only thing the level has going for it. Start with an elevator ride. I hope you like Ellie the Elephant, because this level's all about her. And you can't avoid that barrel, as far as I know. So here's what's weird. So, Ellie the Elephant, you saw her. She just stepped on the rats. Like, she has no problem with rats right now. But later on in the level, and by that I mean, like, now, she suddenly has a huge problem with rats. So, like, I'll try to give you an example. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's because I was taking damage? I don't know. Oh, first death! Not where I, I was expecting to die. To be fair, Donkey Kong Country 3 is much harder than the other two. Especially the GBA version. This is the only Donkey Kong Country that is harder on the GBA than it is in the Super NES. Well, I think, at least on average, it's harder. There's a couple levels that are more tricky in the Super NES version, but there are quite a few levels that are way tougher in the GBA version. As we're going to see later on. Woohoo! Green one up! I don't like those enemies, those couple wanes. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, this this is the part of the level where, like, suddenly Ellie has a huge fear of rats, even though she's technically a monkey. We can get rid of that guy, and jump through the trapdoor to get a bonus barrel. So now if we want to kill rats on this level, we need to use barrels. So here we can just pick up the barrels that appear and throw them upwards. You have to throw them upwards, though. You gotta time it a little bit, but it's not too bad. It can be hard holding a steel keg in your trunk. So this... We can just throw the steel keg over there to get us a free DK coin. Hero coin, I'm sorry. Throw it over the red buzzer. Red buzzers are completely invincible except to TNT barrels. But they can be killed with TNT. Important to note that. Yeah, there's a mouse coming up. Oh, for real? Yeah, I don't understand why. It's like, oh, he's fine with regrets, except for on the second half of this level, where she's terrified of them. So here, we can just use the suck up the barrel from a distance. Because Ellie has suction powers. Oh, yeah, okay. You can take the hit like that, or you can suck up the uh, steel keg over there. This is a tricky bonus barrel for early in the game. Getting past those buzzers can be a bit annoying.
good. I did kill the mouse. Or the rat. I did kill the little furry creature. Also, Ellie can set barrels down on the ground if you want. Alright, I want the G. I want the G. Can I not get the G because I killed those enemies? Are you kidding me? Yeah, and she got over her fear of mice at the end, okay? Is Kitty Kong good enough to get the... Yeah, he is. Alright, cool. K-O-N-G Kong! Cool. Now we're on Swanky's Dash. Thankfully, I think we only have to do this once. Well, would you believe it? Hello, Kongs! Welcome to my old new Sideshow game! My show's on the road and it's in every land. The cost of this game? Two coins in the hand. There are some great prizes on offer today, so come in and choose your to play. Just do that and you're away. So come on, Collins, and have a go. You could win. Well, win. You never know. Will you give it a try? Sure. Sorry, kitty. No miners allowed. But don't be sad. It's not all that bad. Now it's up to you, Dixie. Try to collect as many gold stars as you can before the time runs out. Watch out for the spiky obstructions, though, as hitting these will make you drop any stars that you've already collected. Pressing the A button will make you jump, while pressing down on the control pad will make you duck. This is a weird. It's like a pseudo-3D game. Not a fan. It's like those Sonic half-pipe levels, except here it's a full pipe. And I think you do need to get all the stars in here if you want to get the banana bird. Thankfully, once you've done it on this world, I don't think you need to do it in any other worlds. But let me tell you, it is stressful. Okay, maybe you can't get all the stars. Okay, I don't see any way you can get all the stars. I think I did pretty well, though. You got 89 out of 100 stars! That's not good enough! You must try harder! I suggest avoiding the spiky balls that's bound to help. I didn't hit any! Nobody goes home empty-handed on this show! Here, have some bananas with my compliments! Oh, well, that's a lot of baloney! We have to get a perfect score? Or was I, like, one short? Darn it! I missed one. <laughs> yes, zero out of 100 stars is definitely not good enough. He still gave me a decent amount of bananas, though. Thanks, Swanky. You know, I kind of need that banana bird if I want to beat the game 100%, Swanky. And this game's not great, so... Duck can do anything. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't see any way I could possibly get that many stars. Got 92, is that good enough? That's an A. Very good, you did better than I expected. You got 92 out of 100 stars. Here, have this banana bird. Okay, sweet. You were great. I hope you'll be back again when the prizes are even bigger and better. I don't think he gets another banana bird, though, so it's really not worth doing that. Also, his uh, sideshow is completely different in the Super NES version. It's like a carnival game. Alright, time for the boss of Lake Arenatena, Belcha's Barn. Not the barn, but Belcha himself. 
This is Belcha. He's a giant barrel. So what you do is you jump on the barrels. There's a beetle inside, and then you jump on the beetle once. You can pick it up, then throw it in his open mouth. And true to his namesake and the namesake of Rareware, uh, he will burp very loudly. And yes, you do need to time throwing that in his mouth. And if you push him back far enough, he will be defeated. If you throw it in his mouth while it's closed, then it'll just bounce off him. And that's the first boss! Also, epic boss music in this. Well done, young cons! That overgrown barrel will make good firewood. Well, that's kinda dark. Off you go then! You need to head for the Kremwood Forest! So that's Lake Arena Tana, everything done. Let's go to the next world! Kremwood Forest. First level, Spring and Spiders, which actually, this is not the first level in the Super Nintendo version. It's the Everforest level first, but I think this makes a better starting level. Also, very upbeat and happy forest music. I love it. So these are the spiders. However, they are very friendly spiders and will not hurt you if you touch them. Rather, they give you a lift. Thank you. These are hedgehogs. Roll into their heads. If you touch any other part of their body, you will get hurt. carry the barrel up there, we can get ourselves a bear coin. And because of all the stuff in the general store, you actually do need to collect those, so keep that in mind. If we go down here, we can turn into Squawks. Squawks plays exactly the same way he does in DK Country 2. You can fly in any direction. If you hold down, he'll fly down faster. If you hold up, he'll fly up faster, but you have to tap A, and he can still shoot the nuts. I think they're actually eggs, but eh. It's kind of weird that a male bird can spit eggs out. And we get ourselves a nice bonus barrel. Collect 15 bananas! Is this the one I think it is? Yes it is. Do not touch the buzzers! If you touch any of the buzzers in this minigame, you will instantly, not instantly lose, you will lose, but you will have to watch like a 10 second you lost clip every time. It's been annoying. This is where I really don't like to collect the banana missions. It's like they can spawn anywhere. Alright, but first try. I normally have to retry that like three times. Woo! Probably because I knew what was coming this time. If we fly, if we want to fly downwards a bit, it's out there. You can also kill that buzzer to get into the bonus barrel as well. Bloop, boop, boop, boop. These red spiders won't jump until you actually jump on their heads. No squawks allowed, but we get a prize. Yeah, I didn't explain in the last video, but this is like a no animal sign, and if the animal crosses that, they will disappear. But they will also leave a prize behind. It's important to note that, because sometimes the prizes are very good. Uh, that's kind of mean. Just a little bit. Nice prizes. There are lots of invisible prizes in this. Thankfully, they're like optional stuff, like bananas or coins. Whoop! Ho <laughs> ho! Oh. We got ourselves a nice little secret down there as well. This wall is just filled with secrets. It's great. Okay. This part of the level is where it gets a little tricky if you want 100%. That TNT barrel is very valuable. What you need to do is you can blow up that part of the tree. Alright. <laughs> Gotta be careful here. Let's use Dixie Calm. Whoop! <laughs> 
Once again, a very precise shot is needed. Oh, nice. And now we can shortcut back through there. That is one of the tougher coins to get. And we can take this little spider up here. And get the end. Wow, we're actually making really good progress for the level. TNT barrels are always very valuable because they're... Okay, that was not exactly where I wanted to use it. Hope that I didn't need that to get the bonus barrel. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> that's the red buzzers. <laughs> and those are the hedgehogs. Don't spin into their butts. They got pointy butts. Woohoo! I want to know something. Okay, I was curious if you could kill those guys with the TNT barrels explosion, but no, you can't. Game developers fought of that one. Alright. How dare you kill my cousin? Oh, hey, Dixie! That is just kind of mean. And bonus barrel down there. I thought that bonus barrel was way better hidden than that. I'm glad it's not, though. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. Gotta be fast. But it's a pretty cool one. Boop, 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 boop. Really catchy music. I think this... There is one forced level in particular where this music does not fit at all, but for all the others it fits way better. <laughs> and that's the end of the level! Alright, and that's where we're gonna leave the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Before we leave, I guess. Nope. As you can see, no more banana birds from Cranky Kong. So, just wanted to show that off. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be doing Riverside Race, a very interesting level. Have a great day, and God bless.